Such calming vocals. Yeah. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I have decided I probably should go for the match with Pink. So here we go. Ready to head to Oak Manor? Yes. <laughs> you know I had to. Alright, so... Looks like we're not playing anything in Blue Moon Dunes this part, unless things go really quick here. I don't know. I don't know. This course has some pretty tricky greens. So let's go and see what we can do in Spooky Dookie Town. I'm gonna go do some curvature. Try and get it to stop as well. Decently close to the hole on a very tiny green. Arceus, help me! Oh, gee, yeah, I wasn't too sure about that. I was a little bit... <laughs> I might be able to put that in, though. It's just that there's, there's those pumpkins, and everything is just, like, all set up to be very difficult. Holy mother of pearl! He got some skills! <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare! Nice shot, Lara! <laughs> If she does that every hole, I might not stand the chance, but we'll see. <laughs> Holy poopers, scoopers. Wait, why am I going first? The person that wins is supposed to go first traditionally. Well, well. Anyway, <laughs> I will not question it too much. Oh, maybe I should have had my... Oh, I, yeah, I should, definitely should have had my skimming woods for the last hole if it goes out that far. Because remember, I did that ridiculous shot across the water, and oh no, I just pinballed myself to victory. <laughs> all right, let's see what she does. Uh, oh, that's all right, I guess. Not really in any worse position than I am, I think. The greens aren't very receptive. Uh, that means that they like, hold the ball, like with the ball spin and stuff like that. Alrighty. So, I'm going to assume that putting will be the best course of action, and probably with that distance, plus putting through some rough, almost max it out. Oh yeah! I thought that the slope was straight against me, but I guess there was a little bit, little bit of a turn to the right, but it, it didn't matter, because I still got it in. So we are back to Tide. Woo! Alright. Skimming woods or not, I plan to win this! Oh uh, boy. <laughs> if only I could smash the pumpkins like that band. If only. <laughs> but that's that's only for overworlds, I suppose. That was actually really close to just sticking into the bunker. I'm surprised that didn't stick in the bunker actually, but it worked out. Alright. Yeah, it looks like she has most certainly improved her skills, because that's uh She's making some pretty nice shots here. Oh, man. Oh! Maybe until there. Please don't go in the water for your own sake. Wait, what's going... Is that the wind affecting it? <laughs> I'm not sure. I guess it probably was the wind that made it go backwards like that, but... Well. Well. That would not happen IRL that easily with eight, eight yards of wind. <laughs> At least I don't think it would. Alright, nice and safe, good to go, with the flow, she can potentially make it on the green, I think. Oh, boy, those, those pumpkins really bounce the ball. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I think she still has a shot at the hole, but I think we're going to put ourselves in better position than she will. Uh, hold on, I'm going to see... Should I use the 58 and let it run out? I'm not sure if it'll let me because of the slope. Eh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll use the 9 and put it there, then let it run out to the hole. In theory. In theory. Come on, 9 iron. Be the number. Oh, oop. Okay. <laughs> you can sort of smash the pumpkins, but it's not like. You can predict where the ball is gonna go when you smash the pumpkin, so it's probably not the best idea, unless you have some sort of mastery or knowledge that can help you with that. I don't know, I have nothing. This is a blind run. I have not mastered the pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, I win. At least that hole. 
So, we're one up. Let's go! Next hole... Uh, oh yeah, this is the one that you probably want to go down that way, but I also noticed that there's this this place over here. I don't know if this is something that you'd want to do, but it is something that you can aim to, I guess, if you really want to. But I would think that the best way to go is to go this way. Oh, and my... I, I, didn't, I can really tell that my drive distance is much higher than it was. Because before, I had to play off of this this path here, and yeah, which actually I probably should do anyway, because I noticed that the fairway's running distance is not that long, so off the path you go, ball! And it's still in the rough. Oh no, it's in the fairway! <laughs> Doesn't look like it, but it is. It's like when my ball was partly in the water and it said it was in the rough. Wow, that's a risky play, but that worked out. Ooh. Uh, wait, did you see that driver they gave me when I... That driver was the antique driver, like, just a second ago. Hmm. <laughs> Must have been a little oversight of the club selection. Maybe it sticks after uh, you play Tidy Parks Tournament, because you know how they automatically switch you to the antique clubs? Anyway! Ooh! Well, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> it like bounced off a top branch and that sucker flew! Didn't look like it was gonna do that when I uh when it was landing though. I don't know. Those trees with the little bats in them, kind of a mysterious beast, if you ask me. Oh, I can actually now go for the chip in of destiny. So I have the greatest wedges in the game, probably! Oh, no! <laughs> I, I think I underestimated the win there. <laughs> well, I, I flubbed this hole badly. Yeah, so it looks like she's gonna get a point on me. But then I'll just go back to tie, so... My own faults. Alas, alas. In golf, you are your own worst enemy. Boop. Yeah, double water ball. <laughs> ah, what the poop? Okay, I was a little, little worried about that. I mean, that was way offline. Would you hit that on the very toe of the club and you just rocket it off to the side? Ah, what she won. I will give that to her. <laughs> Yeah, I totally, totally flubbed that one. And... I can't even see the green from here. Okay, so now she's going first, as she should be. Because remember I said before that the uh, winner of the hole is supposed to go first on the... Uh, yeah. Just use the camera, the overhead camera, and you'll be just fine. <laughs> and you'll be able to see the green with ease. Oh yeah, that's right, I want to go probably f towards that particular portion of the green because of the side angle approach, or, or putt, or whatever you want to call it, however it turns out. Oh, that was a weird side bounce. Well, well, hopefully that tree isn't in my way. Oh boy. Eh, good shot. So we're going to be about in the same position, I think, overall, unless the tree is in my way. But no, the 72 degree lets me get above everything. Everything. That's the power of lofts. Can you stop lofts? Can you? Maybe. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. Just do a little putz and it should go in. A little off to the side to anticipate the slope. Maybe about there because of all the rough. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> oh, double really? Oh, come on! You had me there again! <laughs> By the way, this course is actually pretty tricky. Um, especially when you don't have the skimming woods, I guess it's pretty tricky. Uh, but, well, we'll see how things go. Should be alright overall. Alright, Pink. You are up once again, as it should be in golf traditions. There's nothing wrong with uh, the loser of a hole going first, but it's just, you know, a, a traditional thing. <laughs> I know, yeah, you, I, 
blade itself, but maybe not. Maybe not. If you're hitting that far back, that might actually be more of a detriment than a safe shot. Just, just saying. I mean, I'm gonna go for that section of the fairway. Oh, the wind didn't push it as much to the side as I thought it would. That might cost me a little bit. Well, we'll see. Good shots, good shots. Especially since I don't think I can make the green in two now, but we'll see. Oh, oh wait, wait, oh, hold on. Hold on. Power. <laughs> this is the shot of destiny, maybe. This could be the shot that determines the entire match. I have no idea, really. But I'm going to try and hit it off that cart path and uh, see if I can... Ah, oh, it didn't land on the cart path. Well, that's still an okay shot. Got a nice angle to the green, well, I should say to the hole, and uh, see how things roll. Mm, mm, I bet she'll chip that, and I bet she'll get it in, but we'll see. Um, I think I'm actually gonna give it a little bit of roll, since I've got all this green in my favor here. And play the slope. Here we go. And hope for the best. Go ball! Into your home! Whoa! Well, I may not have made the green for an eagle, but I can certainly chip in for an eagle. <laughs> I will accept that, I guess. I wonder how she would have played that, though. Like, how, how, what, what her end result would have been? We may never know. We may never know. Ooh, yeah, this is a... Uh, I, I really don't know what to do on this hole, because the... the on ball! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, uh... I don't, really don't know what to do with this one, because you're not hitting across a lengthy fairway, like a long stretch of fairway. It's just, like, stripes of fairway, and then there's rough in between them. I guess the idea is to land it in the rough at some point and just let it bounce forward to a fairway, but... It's like... Okay, there we go. That'll work. That'll work. But yeah, it's, it's not really very intuitive to try and actually manage to get this uh -oh, oh off the rock and there's a tree pot potentially in her way but yeah this one is it's a little dicey to actually figure out but looks like i am playing decently enough uh, i'm gonna go back over to here for the nine iron rollouts yeah it should be okay about there i think i hope Especially with the slope there. See, the slope is at medium. Yeah. There we go. Although that didn't really hit, or didn't really land on the green as I was expecting, but it worked out nicely. Ah, the tree was in her way. Not much she could have done there then. Unless, uh, she could have hit it hard. Oh! Now she's having a hole like I did. <laughs> but yeah, uh, sometimes you can hit through the tree branches I've seen and mentioned before. Uh, just as a little reminder, and it, it will cut off the power of the shot, like, quite a bit. But you can still make it to various destinations, and maybe, and definitely from that distance you would be able to make it to the hole, but something tells me that the tree trunk was in her way and she just had to aim somewhere else. Anyway, details. We're gonna win this hole. Yeah! Woo! And the match goes almost to us, <laughs> because now we're in Dormy. Two ho I'm two up with two to play, which means I can tie and basically win no matter what. Tie or uh, just flat out win the hole. That's what Dormy means, is that a tie is a win. And I will be going, try my best to tie her and end it off here. Because I don't have my skimming woods for the last hole. <laughs> She might have skimming woods, though. Who knows? Uh, ooh, I'm not so... Ooh, I did not have anywhere close to as much rollout as I thought it would. Whoa! Uh, well... She might be in better position than I am, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's about equal, we'll see. Ooh, okay. So, if I get it down in two, I win. Should I... 72 degree flop it on there? for maximum stopping power, because I don't know about the wind, I mean, I, excuse me, I don't know about the rough, 
If I putt through it, but with the wind, I have a semi bit of predictability. Oh, actually! I could, yeah, I can put it in focus mode. And then just kind of like eliminate the wind altogether. Which might just be a little too broken, but <laughs> they give you the power. So let's use that power and focus. Focus. In the hole. In the hole. Oh, the side, the side slope bouncing way off the. Okay, that's still okay. Remember, two in to win anyway. She got a par. If I get a par, that means I'll still be two up with one to play. I'm sorry. I win again. <laughs> but man, Lara did put up a much better fight this time than any of the other uh, characters in the game. Whew. <laughs> Whew. Whew. I say. Whew. She gave me $50 to not tell anyone I won. <laughs> you beat me. I don't see that well in the dark, though. No! No more excuses! It's time for me to accept that you have far superior equipment. <laughs> I need to get some new stuff. No, don't blame the clothes! <laughs> well... Well... Oh, nothing else? If you can beat me, you can beat anybody. Well... Well... I guess that's true, you are the toughest competitor thus far. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I... I'm not sure, I guess explore this area. 